Hello everyone, this is Fenris Lycon. Behind me, Shadow. We're back on the hardest difficulty uh, map on Surviving Mars. In the last episode, we have our colony ship, our one and only, in orbit of Mars. We're going to end up waiting to the end of this cold wave. Um, and in this episode, I suspect we'll We'll land this, we'll have our first kids, um, and we might have our first or second event, which is either going to be a bad event or a neutral event. Um, and found. we'll probably end it just before we go into the next disaster of a dust storm. Uh, we should make sure we have everything ready for our colonists. We want to make sure we have chickens. Have it, the, the workload, have them work harder. Uh, and like I said before, the reason I'm doing chicken is they require the least amount of water per fuel, uh, per least amount of water per food, and uh, they only take one soul. We're going to turn the ranch off during dust storms. I'm going to keep the two service buildings off at night. I am going to turn the infirmary on, but I'm only going to have... Um, half the people work there. We do want to make sure we have a moxie down before before we land. Um, we do have kind of two souls, so we'll, found. we'll put that off for a little bit. Um, and when this cold wave does end, we'll turn both the fuel refineries off and place a uh, water tower. We want to make sure we store up plenty of water before we hit the next dust storm, or our first dust storm, which is our next disaster, because um, that's going to decide whether or not we can survive, um, can survive it with our colony, or our colonists, and our colony. And if anyone has tried this map, let me know in the comments. I think there's a few um, interesting locations to kind of start on. Uh, this is my kind of first time making it through. Sector scanned. Uh, this map on that's been changed with the um, tourism update. So I'd love to hear how other people have done this and um, see where they like to land. I think this one place is a good place to start. I don't, it's kind of like a short term because there's not a lot around us except for concrete and this uh, rare metals. Um, and the, of course the two vistas, which I think is going to help us speed up having kids incredibly. Um, but so it's like a trade-off. I'm hoping to get a very good early game uh, by sacrificing kind of my late game. Turn it off though, we'll just get things placed. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be too far. Could also place it up here. If we lose this, we'll lose our oxygen. So I'd really like it to be closer. And we'll just kind of put it down here, I think. It, even if this isn't in the cold ground, the Moxie is um, luckily very low powered. So it only takes two. Even if we triple that to six, it's not bad. And we can, of course, turn that off at night um, with some storage. So we should have our moxie down in plenty of time. In fact, we should have it in time that we can actually store 
some uh, some oxygen. So 10 more hours till the end of this cold wave. We will also want to make sure we turn on this dome so it gets repaired in time. Do that now. Oh, I also need to make sure I, I power that. I should have placed it where the um, this water tower is. Uh, I just want to make sure the water tower is out, outside of the um, cold ground. That's fine. We have the oxygen going. Research complete. Nice. We have the low G turbine upgrade. Um, I'll have that. I think we have enough polymers. The only polymers we're using are the um, for that battery. And I think we'll take a quick look doesn't look like there's any kind of technology we really are need so it'd be really nice to get our Explorer um, to down so we can actually get the um, some of those anomalies see further down that tech tree make more useful decisions and with that cold wave off we can build the water tower and put our rocket down also turn off our fuel refinery make sure we have enough water um, get a water start start stockpiling that water for our, um, the dust storm Mine's we're going to have nice. we have our colonists down new colonists have arrived and we've got it just before soul 15 so we, we ended up making our oops uh, we want to make sure we turn on the moisture vaporizers at night we had them turned off during the, uh, the, colonists are the cold wave yep we fixed that just a temporary problem sector scan looks like um because the colonists weren't actually in there they didn't actually suffer anything resources are low um it's during night i think we'll be okay um yeah, this is not in fact in the cold ground. We can turn it off. We are going to be a little. Uh, we should be fine on power. We can do ten and ten, like before during the day, and then we have twenty to play at night. So we, in fact, we can keep this on. Um, make sure this oxygen tank is full. Make sure try and get this water tower as full as possible before the dust storm. and we'll have our rocket. We have all the fuel we need right now. In fact, we have enough to do it twice. Um, so we're looking really good there. And if we, oops, get on the dome, we can see that all of our colonists are interested in having kids. Um, with 70 comfort even without the infirmary they should want kids so lowering that to increase our chances of them um, actually producing kids by quite a bit and awesome we have a rocket so let's get that back to earth oh no here's our second second event um, the rocket launch failed seven Several colonists have ga gathered to watch the launch. Their anticipation is quickly replaced by concern as the engine spits dust and smoke, but the rocket refuses to get off the ground. Magnum 1 has failed to launch. We believe the problem lies within the ratio of liquid oxygen to liquid methane. We've confiscated the issue, but it's highly recommended to perform a full maintenance on the rocket, which will cost five machine parts. Ouch. Um, this is our only rocket, so we can't lose it. It stinks to lose most of our machine parts, but I think it's something we have to do. The only thing we kind of need the machine parts for right now is the wind turbine. 
we can also break down one of our fuel refinery for some more. Um, so we're now very low on machine parts. Resources are low. And we can actually get uh, a rocket off. We want to make sure we're filling up our water tower oxygen tank. The oxygen tank looks pretty good. We can turn that off at night. Milestone achieved. Nice. We have food. Chickens going in to become chicken nuggets. Sector scanned. Love those little details. And hopefully we should have our first children, too. Uh, that's, of course, completely random. Uh, but we want to get as many as possible. It's also kind of luck what they roll. If they all roll on the same thing. Um, or during trying user surface building at night. Um, they, of course get hit with a comfort penalty, but we still are looking very good comfort-wise. 65. Great dust storm approaching. Ah, so here's that great dust storm. We're actually looking pretty good on water and oxygen. So if we make it through this dust storm, we will um, be well on a way to um, Having a very good run. I think I. Research complete. There we are. Milestone achieved. Perfect. We've also For gotten first our time. first baby. So, we've done. We've gotten a lot done. We've landed a colonist. We've uh, had a first kid. We've almost filled a water tower with water to make through our dust storm. I think this is a good um, place to end the episode. If you've liked it, please leave a thumbs up. It helps. And if you want to keep seeing episodes, uh, if you could subscribe, that would help a lot too. Without further ado, this is Frenrich Lycon, that's Shadow, signing out.